I wish to speak to those who suffer from some form of mental illness or emotional disorder. When I speak of this, I'm not speaking of bad hair days or tax deadlines or other discouraging moments we all have. Everyone is going to be anxious or downhearted on occasion. But today I'm speaking of something more serious, of an affliction so severe that it significantly restricts a person's ability to function fully, a crater in the mind so deep that no one can responsibly suggest that it would surely go away. No, this dark night of the mind and spirit is more than mere discouragement. I have seen it come to an absolutely angelic man when his beloved spouse of 50 years passed away. I have seen it in new mothers. I've seen it strike anxious students, military veterans, and I've seen it in young fathers trying to provide for their families. In that regard, I once terrifyingly saw it in myself. So how do you best respond when mental or emotional challenges confront you or those you love? Above all, never lose faith in your Father in heaven who loves you more than you can comprehend. That love never changes. It is there for you when you are sad or happy, discouraged or hopeful. God's love is there for you whether or not you deserve it. It is simply always there. Believe in miracles. Hope is never lost. Seek the advice of reputable people with certified training, professional skills, and good values. Be honest with them about your history and your struggles. If you're the one afflicted or a caregiver to such, try not to be overwhelmed with the size of your task. Don't assume you can fix everything, but fix what you can. If those are only small victories, be grateful for them. Whatever your struggle, mental or emotional or physical or otherwise, do not vote against the preciousness of life by ending it. Trust in God. Hold on in His love. Know that one day the dawn will break brightly and all shadows of mortality will flee. Though we may feel we are like a broken vessel, we must remember that vessel is in the hands of the divine potter. Broken minds can be healed just the way broken bones and broken hearts are healed. While God is at work making those repairs, the rest of us can help by being merciful, non-judgmental, and kind. May we live by faith, hold fast to hope, and show compassion one of another. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.